stuff right here, boy. I didn't know it was supposed to snow like this today. It's off the hook. Look at all this snow. Ooh, look at all that. Look at all this snow, man. Look. Look how thick it is on there. Damn. Damn. I gotta get all that off of there. I need to use that. Whew. Got off the hook, man. This is the first real day of the All-Star game, and it got down like this. Oh, the All-Star weekend. Look, this is the first real, no, this is the second day, because yesterday was Thursday, and that was the kickoff for the All-Star. Today, Friday. I'm trying to put my glove on. Sorry, y'all. Today, Friday. Look at it, boy. It's going down out here. It's ugly. I just seen so many accidents today. And I was supposed to have been here a long time ago. Because of this snow. This weather. Hey. Ain't nothing we can do, man. We can't help it. The Lord put this snow here. I ain't put it here. <laughs> so if they mad because I'm late, oh well. I ain't trying to kill myself driving fast in the snow. I ain't trying to crash this big old truck. Hell nah. Hell nah. Look at all that snow came off of there. Look at that chunk on that side. Damn, look at all the bullet there. Dang. So I'm not going to even go all the way to Michigan today. I'm not going all the way. I'm probably going to end up taking this to like Fort Wayne. Probably take it to Fort Wayne and then come on back. Cause if it's like this all the way to Michigan, which I don't think it is, but if it is, it ain't happening today. My time already limited on this run. So this already messing with my time. Cause I'm moving slow and I gotta stop because of accidents and all that. So shoot, it just ain't gonna happen. That's one trailer drop. I got another trailer to pick up. So let me get to this work, man. Get this other trailer and try to get out of here. Look at that, look at that. Woo, he pushing that snow. He pushing a lot of snow on that thing. <laughs> here come another one, look. Check that other one out. Here it comes with all that snow on there. Ooh. I had somebody call in. I didn't want to have y'all in my conversation. But I just backed into my trailer right here. And I couldn't even get up under there. I had to drop the bags to make sure. I can get under the trailer because it's so slick out here. I couldn't get no traction to get up under there. So I'm about to make sure that it's hooked up right. I don't want to pull out of here and that thing ain't hooked up. So get you a flashlight, get up under here like this. Look up under there. It's a pin right in there. That pin is in there. I'm hooked up. Oh, yep. I'm hooked up, all right. Hook the rest of this stuff up. Get up out of here. Trying to get as far as I can get. If I know damn well, it ain't going all the way to Michigan today. I know that for a fact. Well, I 
try to set y'all up, but I try to set y'all up, but I couldn't get it. This trailer been sitting, so ain't no snow under there yet. But as soon as I take off, so yeah, yeah, buddy, it's on, it's on. Put the legs up on this thing. Do it with two fingers. Ooh. I ain't trying to smash my finger right there. Woo, woo, almost. Yeah. Check these lights. That one's shining good. These tires. Give them a little kick. And they aired up. Come around here. Yep. Yep, the lights is working. All the lights is working. Come around to this side. There's so much stuff going on this weekend that this here snow, it ain't stopping the show. It ain't stopping no show. All stars in February, they know what come with February. February can get this type of weather. And we sure enough got it today. So there's so many parties, so much stuff going on indoors, man. It ain't stopping no show. So even though we got the stuff outside, it's always something to do inside. And they gonna do it too. People coming out because they know them celebrities are there. They know it's gonna, it's a real turn up. It's a real turn up this weekend. So Naptown, y'all be safe. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. Sign my paperwork. Man, it took me a while to get here, but hey, I, I made it. Man. Yeah, I figured it'd take you a bit. Boy, that traffic out there, people crashing. Yeah, crash. what time is it? Uh, it's like 5.30 something, 5.37? Yeah, uh, yeah, it, multiple crashes out there, boy. Already? At the light or what? Nah, just all over from my way from Greenwood to here. Oh my God. Yeah. I was shit the whole time I've been driving no more than like 30 miles an hour here. <laughs> That's why I figured, I figured you'd be going slow today. Yeah. I know I left at a decent time because I tried to get here early, so. But that weather. I figured, yeah, I figured, yeah, I figured the weather got to you. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, you have this <sighs> just part of the game right here, y'all. Let me make some phone calls. Check the route. See what I come up with. Cause uh I'ma roll out. But I ain't going too damn far. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Check him out. We got the exit block. Have us some fun in this shit tonight. Go ahead and give me some coffee, use the bathroom. We're gonna have us some fun at night in this. Woo! The worst truck stop in America. TA. It's the worst truck stop in America. I'm not lying. 
I was not playing, dog. What is it again? It's the T8. Look at my beard. Look, just a little more snow. You looking like Santa Claus, for real. Boy, y'all going to All Star festivals and all that, and this snow. It's all good, cause if I was off work, I'd be going too. But instead, I'm gonna give me some of this money out here in this snow. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got time to be playing right now. I go tomorrow when it ain't snowing. But today, I'm gonna be up in this truck getting this money in the snow. Drive this big truck. All Star Friday in the snow. You see what I'm saying? Got my cup of Joe. It's time to go. Fort Wayne, man. I made it to Fort Wayne. Boy, it took me a little while to get here. I'll tell y'all that. I'm trying to drop this trailer that I got here in Fort Wayne because where I got to go is right down the street. I'm actually at this truck stop. Flying J right here. I'm about to go in here. Uh, use the restroom. Just mess around. But I'm waiting on them to call me because they said that I might not be able to drop it here in Fort Wayne. I might have to bring it all the way back to Indy. And then somebody going to have to come to Indy and bring it all the way to Michigan. Which is stupid because I'm like at the halfway mark right here. All I got to do is drop it to the terminal right here in Fort Wayne because it's a terminal right here. Somebody from the terminal can take it to Michigan or somebody can come from Michigan and or Toledo because... Toledo closer. Can come from Toledo, bring something down here to Fort Wayne, then come and take it to Michigan or whatever, however they do it. It don't make no sense for me to take this trailer all the way back to Indy, man. It's crazy. The roads are wild. It's it's nuts. I done wasted a whole lot of time moving slow on these roads, man. I can't make it all the way to Michigan with this trailer. If I go to Michigan all the way with this trailer, I'm not gonna make it back home tonight. I'm in a day cab. I can't sleep in here. They, they have told me if I need to, I, need, I can get a hotel. But who wants to sleep in a hotel when you can make it home every night? You know what I'm saying? So instead of me doing that, just have somebody come get this at the halfway mark. And then I can go home with like an empty trailer or, just, or a loaded trailer from there. It don't make no sense for me to take this all the way back. It's a waste of a trip at that point. I should have just stayed at home. I should've just stayed at the crib, man. So I'm waiting on them to call me. I'm about to take a 30 minute break right here at this Flying J. I'm not gonna go down there to the terminal yet, just yet. It's right down the street. It's on the same street as this Flying J. I'm not gonna go there just yet. I'm gonna hang around here and I'm gonna wait for this phone call, see what they say. Yeah. Hopefully I can just end my trip right here. Well. It ain't gonna end because I gotta drive back to Indy, but hopefully I can drop this trailer right here. <sighs> this is trucking, man, especially in the wintertime. This how I be. Oh, I dropped y'all niggas. This how I be in the wintertime, man. This is part of the things you gotta look out for, man, in trucking. Weather. Weather will mess your whole damn day up. Man's restaurant always nasty. Ain't truck stops. Ridiculous. The game myself a damn headache. I got some relief. 
football from the truck stop. I'm about to, I'm about to take this leave real quick, man. And I got a, uh, I got 13 more minutes on my break. Just talked to my supervisor, and they still ain't got no update what they want me to do with this trailer. They don't know if they want me to stay here. I mean, not stay here, but drop it here or take it back to Indy. Either way, though, it's stupid to take it back to Indy, but either way, like my supervisor said, they still got to pay. Shit, they still got to pay me. I'd rather just leave it here, man. That person can take it from here, but that stay stupid ass car. Shit. Still about to take it just fell right there. Just fell right there. Woo! Water gun. I got this drink right here. What's it called? Celsius? Live Fit? Y'all ever had this? Yeah, Celsius. Right there. Celsius, Live Fit. This right here is Tropical Vibes. Let me turn that light on. Tropical Vibes. Sparkling star fruit pineapple edition. This is a essential energy drink with uh accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. I don't know, man. I had one before, it was okay. I really don't like uh like sparkling water type shit, but it was it wasn't bad though. This one wasn't bad. So I'm gonna try this one right here. It's, Tropical vibe. Hey, let's get into it. Tastes like some juice. It really don't taste like sparkling water. Man. It got a little fizzy to it, just a little bit though. It's light. It's real light. Uh, I taste a little bit of that pineapple in there. It tastes like some orange. It tastes more like orange in there than like the pineapple. Well, I guess it's the star fruit. I taste the pineapple though. It ain't bad. It's good, man. I ain't, I can't complain about this one. Celsius, Celsius right here. Live fit. This is not sponsored. I just grabbed this out of the truck stop. This is a pretty damn good little drink, man. I ain't gonna lie, man, if y'all like, I guess, I don't know if this is like a sparkling water or what, but it don't taste like when, a, a normal sparkling water, man. It's pretty damn good, man. I'm about to take this to leave. Yeah, I can do that. I can drink that. That's pretty good, man. I can't complain about that one. But I'll buy it again. I buy it all the time. I'm just sitting here waiting, man. Got, got nine minutes till my break is over. So. He'll be calling me in a minute. Let's see. This is why I didn't go all the way because this weather is off the chain. It looks like it's a semi truck that went off the road up here. And they just keep on flying. It's 19 degrees out here. The ground is, look at the look at this, how slick the road is. Y'all can see it on the camera, look. It's slick, man, this is ice. And these truck drivers won't slow down, man. They just want to stay full throttle on this shit. And this is what happens. This right here up ahead, this is exactly what happens when you want to keep on driving fast as a truck driver on this stuff. This right here, man. I'm not in a rush, bro. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to be this guy. We don't want to be that dude. See that? Can't even really see him, but look. And that's a FedEx. 
And that's a FedEx truck. Man. Boy. And that's a FedEx. I'm driving FedEx right now. Slow down, man. Slow down, truck driver. Slow down. You're going to get there, bro. You are going to make it home. Relax. Slow down, man. It's not that deep. I'm going 30 miles an hour right now, and this is kind of fast for this road. Now I can look on the ground. Look at that. That's, uh, that's slick. That's ice. They sliding on that. Then, then look at this right here to the left. On the other side of the road. Somebody else just slid off the road right there. Like I'm going slow. I'm going slow as I can to get as far as I can. Look at them right there. They just slid off the road. Yeah. Got my flashers on, I'm taking it easy, y'all. Ain't no need to be trying to hammer down on this stuff. It don't make sense, make no sense. And you got these truck drivers be like, oh, they, they scared, they scared to drive. Yeah, you damn right I'm scared to drive on this. Come on, we got 53 feet worth of heavy ass weight, thousands of pounds back there, you know what I'm saying? Thousands of pounds. Who want to crash this? Who want to crash into something with all this weight? Who want to flip a truck? Not me, motherfucker. I'm going to head on. Go. Well, if as you want to go, you end up, end up just like that guy back there. I'm good. As you can see, as you can see, boy, I made it back. Let me take, let me take the time right now to thank the Lord for getting me home back to this van of mine, safe and sound. Because it could have been a worse day for me in this truck. Every day you go out in this truck. And if the weather bad like this and the roads is bad, it can always happen in the blink of an eye, man. All of a sudden. I want to thank God right now, man, for getting me home, safe and sound, Lord. It could have been worse. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I get to go home, see my kids, my wife, relax in my own bed. As long as I get home in that van of mine, Thank you for looking over me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for blessing me with this job. Putting food on the table. Putting clothes up on my back. A roof over our head. And a little extra to have a little entertainment. Look over my family, my sons, my daughter, my wife. I want to raise my boys up to be good, respectable young men and women. And most importantly, thank you for bringing me home tonight. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. May the whole church say, amen. You made it. I'm going to all start tomorrow. I'm getting back in the festivities. Let's go.
yesterday. State police and IMPD reported more than 300 wow. crashes around Indianapolis. Yeah, our Chase House spoke with drivers who braved these conditions on All Star Weekend. Roads across Indianapolis covered by slush, causing cars to slide off the road or into each other. I mean, it was definitely dicey. We saw a couple cars off the road on Benford. I like, you know, it, it wasn't great. Uh, it was just slow going. The interstate backed up for miles. One family from Kentucky making it to downtown Indianapolis just in time for the all-star events. I've been a basketball fan all my life, so I've, I've been really looking forward to coming to this, so it's, I'm excited for it. Chris and Courtney Rodriguez say the snow turned their 25 minute commute into over an hour. It took us about 65, 70 minutes to get up here. What were you seeing? Uh, lots of slide offs, <laughs> lots of lots slide offs. Of slide -offs. Um, there's a couple accidents and then just pretty much everybody driving 20, 25 miles per hour. State police say deputies responded to more than 110 crashes throughout Indianapolis since 3 p.m. As for IMPD, its officers responded to 206 crashes. But for some All-Star fans, the snow wasn't going to stop them from the fun. I was willing to do what it took to get down here. Yeah, I'm so proud of what the city's done. It's amazing and um, I think I think game bridge will still be packed. We're headed to the game and while some were out celebrating for all star weekend, others braved the snow to keep the peace at home. This Valentine's Day weekend. I got to treat my baby. Yes, <laughs> welcome to town. <laughs> Chase Howell 13 News. Oh, I love it. I love it. And hey, the Indian Department of Public Works started pre treating roads yesterday morning ahead of this snow, and they say they will continue work today. The city confirms to 13 News no NBA All Star events are affected by the snowfall, and said they're focusing on making sure downtown is safe for all the pedestrians who will be out and about today. As for drivers, organizers want to make sure the fans take their time and plan ahead before coming downtown. Kind of as we keep going through that, the major thing is safety. We want people to be very, very careful. Uh, it's the same, same thing we message with all of our winter weather events. Make sure if you're traveling either downtown or anywhere across the county that you're giving yourself some extra time, extra space. Uh, we want to make sure that everyone gets home safe tonight. And as we deal with dropping temperatures today, crews will still be out treating the, treating the roads to prevent refreezing. And of course, we will be keeping an eye on road conditions and temperatures all day long. You can also check the hour by hour forecast anytime on the Doppler 13 weather app. It'll be a great tool as you plan out your day.